my favorite next team now. Yeah. Why we get this? Well, I got Stop guessing. My name is Eric Rademakers and I'm a head coach at Kingston Football Academy and at Campion College. And we're in the process of improving the field and the facilities that we have over here. A big part of development and youth development is have facilities that enable them to properly train on the aspects that they need to train on. And in Jamaica it's always been a thing where they work with the fields and the mud and the rocks and everything on it. And when they transition into a new environment, the next level, they have a big bridge to gap at that point. So with improving the field, not just for us, but in general in Jamaica, we really hope to add to that part of the development so that when they make the step to a next level, they're already used to proper playing surfaces and the style and the, and the speed that comes along with that type of football. So for that reason, we're really happy and really grateful for what is happening and the upgrades that are happening. And um, we hope that everybody comes and watch when it's ready and chips in where they can to make this a, a, a proper facility to, um, for the youth to, to develop themselves. Look, more energy. That's all the water. These are low spots, by the way, which we're going to get rid of as well. But you just realize that, hold on, so all the water that used to be like this, right? all the process has just come down from it. By the way, we cut another trench along here. You see what we're doing there? I'm going to do our next one along the entire length of the road. And we have an eight foot deep trench. Not big, about two foot deep. I get this. Beautiful water. Beautiful water. Beautiful water. Realize how big it is, by the way? Oh. oh, by the way, Carlo, yeah. I want to remind you of something. You remember, I want you to scan it from this way. Just scan it from this way. All right, I just want you to scan all the way up to those tanks over there. Oh, by the way, put the word out, I need six more water tanks. We have $50,000, the ambulance road. All right, that's going to run in front of the stands. Come down to the practice pitch. Now, remember that the practice pitch is going to have the exact same surface as our UEFA pitch. All right, this is going to be 120 by 80 yards, because that's UEFA. So in my crazy mind, I'm thinking, well, this is going to be 120 foot by 80 foot. Maybe mm -hmm. Jah will bless us and it will turn out that way. Mm -hmm. But we're going to work in the space we have, in truth and in fact. No, the magic of this entire project is that when the water, when the rain falls, and it hits this pitch, which has this perfect gradient, mm -hmm. the water sheets and runs right across it, exactly the way it's supposed to and then creates absolute havoc. Because now you've got water running across all this. All right, maybe it's just two inches of water, but just picture it, it's two inches of water times how much? Mm -hmm. And it runs right across and it hits this wall. Mm -hmm. And then, well, man-made river. Except what we're building is a massive soak away. We have removed, already we have removed all of the soil down to eight foot. You're looking at it right here, from the tennis court all the way to the football center. You see what's going on right now? All right, let's take a look. Where is the hole? You see the water? You see that water? Yeah, look at it running over all there. All right, yeah. we're going to win. We're going to beat right that there. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's Mother Nature. And we're going to win. Look nice when it's happening right now. Check it out. Look over here. Look, look, look at the football center. Listen. Here. Yeah. What we're gonna do? Starting to soak away. All right. There you go. Modern engineering, but this is by the way a very old-fashioned solution. In fact, it's a solution as old as human beings. It's soak away. But when you build one this big, so this is all soak away. This all the way around the tennis court, all the way up the back of the court. It looked like a walkway, because all of it filled with shingle. So it's gonna look like this lovely little walkway, and it's so cute and very Wimbledon. 
Deep Dean Football Club is going to be the Wimbledon of football in the world. In the world, not in the Caribbean. This is the Wimbledon of football in the world. We are building it. Now we're going to take that down to four foot high. The entire length, all the way up to the trees. We're not troubling that big tree, we're not troubling any of these trees. And by the way, that's beautiful topsoil. Let's come to the surface of field number two. Oh, all right, and okay. that's going to be a viewing area, just something, you know. And by the way, here's a trick of optical illusion. You're thinking that, oh, that's kind of nice, it'll look neater. All right, you see at the, at the bottom of the billboard, Remember, Hope Road is not a straight road. Old Hope Road, sorry. Old Hope Road is not straight. It has curvature and it curves away. So it means that at the base by the billboard, the berm is going to be about four foot wide between the wall and edge of the berm. By the time we get up to, up to here, these trees, it's about 20 foot wide. So it's going to be a great hangout spot for the kids. Okay. Just hang out. You do whatever you want. I mean, it'll be covered in grass and cut neatly and it'll just be windows down. Deep, deep. Football club, and just to get us keep that vibe alive, you see. All right, we're gonna have stands eventually with roofs that are gonna go on top of that berm, but in the meantime, we're gonna have a little fun. No, underneath the trees, we're not gonna have stands, we're gonna have bleachers, no roof because you already have these lovely trees above you that have been cut back by the way to a height of 20 feet off the ground. There is a branch that we need to pick up over there, but we're never perfect. All right, all right, then you come down here. And by the way, this is where we have a two inch high pressure water main that we just put in, you know, the latest everything. Those blue pipes you're seeing over there, those are six inch sleeves, high impact plastic pipes that go around our water pipes just to ensure that when vehicles and so pass over them, they cannot break the water pipe. Just a nice little touch, but it makes life much easier. Then as you come down here, you come down to this little tree and this is where it gets interesting in my opinion because that is where the field ends. Everybody who has ever come to camp and deep you know the field and desert. That's the end of the land. Except no it's not. No it's not. And that's why we're gonna be able to build a UEFA regulation 120 by 80 football field right here at a high school in Jamaica. Amen. Because Aeon construction is magic. <laughs> we don't dig holes in the ground, we make earth move. <laughs> now we're spoken about a technical challenge. All right, we're gonna build a box and we're gonna cover it with astroturf. But now we have to create something that's a pleasing experience for the eye. I think it has to look beautiful to be beautiful. So we're gonna look. My name is Nigel Cassidy. And I'm working with Jim Sampson, Alex Chin, Michael Todd, Jerry Chin, and a growing number of other parents, including Carlo Les, who's actually filming this right now. And what we're really doing is that we're just transforming the future of Campion's football. Well, that's what I keep telling people because I don't want to get very excited. But it's not really true. But it's only way bigger than that. <laughs> We're building something that just doesn't exist. I mean, I don't, I, maybe it does. Maybe somewhere in the world, somebody said, hey, you know what? I've seen Wimbledon tennis and, you know, I think a football club could look like that, you know? You know, like all green and like old fashioned and everything. And it just, you know, it's like, there's no like real concrete there, except there is, you know, but, but, all right, I did, I did this. Uh, we're really going to build a facility, a football facility that meets all the requirements of UEFA to stage an international. And we happen to be building it a deep, deep, it doesn't Regular places don't have names. Regular places are 32 Hopefield Avenue. This is deep. And deep being is going to be, at the same time, the most modern 
and the most old-fashioned football facility in the world. It's gonna be. <laughs> it is gonna be so sweet. You're, I mean, people are gonna come and it's gonna look like. So, what did they do? Because obviously, it always looked this way. And that's where the magic comes in. Because we're not taking away anything. I mean, if you, you, you think we're demolishing a wall. That's what you think we're doing. No, we're creating space. We're creating space. And that's the magic of all this. And that's the magic of these people who've come together and said, you know what? could do that. You know, our James and Alex and Nigel and Michael and Jerry got together one day at, at Campion on the DB football field because Ashton said so. That's Ashton Blanson, one of the coaches. You know, he called me and said, hey, you know, uh, you guys finally have got you together. I've been trying for years and it's probably true, by the way, it's probably true. You know, and you know, boy, could you just come to the field at 11 o'clock? on Saturday and that's how we got together and we said okay we're gonna develop the field and I said oh you know I've been talking to these fellows for a couple of years and it's actually this idea we have and they're like all right let's do that I said I'm doing the ideas they're like Major, you have good ideas here we are no we're not quite there <laughs> But we're certainly making progress. And you know, the support we've had from everyone who's come to visit, from everyone who said, you know, what exactly are you guys doing? It's been fantastic. It's really, it, everybody loves it. Grace Baston loves it. That's a principle. You know, Patrick Patterson loves it. He's a person. <laughs> Dorothy Foster loves it. She's a pro property manager here. I mean, everyone's on board. And I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. Everyone's on board. Everyone just likes the same thing at the same time. It's magic, I swear to God. I swear to God. Come on board. Come on board, man. It's a hell of a team. <laughs> This is Tesha. Respect. This is a good bridge in Canada. Let's go back years in the back of this. Yeah, man. But anyway, that road you're looking at right there, yeah. he built it. All right. Personally. Alright. Alright. He made so an intro ramp everything, you know? Nice. And the only reason you got a chance to talk to him is because it's raining. <laughs> the site is personally picked by me every morning. Removing all pieces of plastic, glass, old tile, any sharp object wire, steel, anything at all. My vision of this project when we were done is that a four-year-old child can run up and down it barefoot. Absolutely beautiful, pristine, organic, real, deep, 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 deep. No garbage. It's a 40 foot container, color, uh, this color high Q, the big version. All right, it's roughly 10 foot wide, not exactly, but call it that. All right, it's gonna be separated into three spaces. A 10 by 10, that is the official's room. A 10 by 10 space, that's a referee's room. The 20 by 10 space that's left over, well, that will be for the coaches and staff to do whatever it is that coaches and staff actually do. That is a mystery to us all. The nice thing about that is that that actually is a minimum specific regulation that you must have in place to have a Premier League match or in fact a match of any international of any international uh, implications and we're gonna have that we're gonna start with that you know it's important and we're gonna have it right away and by the way 
when there's no get match going on, yeah. Officials room becomes coach number one room. Referee's room becomes coach number two room. They do whatever they want with it, really. But when it comes to match time, when it comes to match time, when it's hard of you against Waterhouse, yes, we will be ready. When it comes to football and what it adds to a young boy or girl in their development, it's not just in Jamaica but all over the world. A very big uh, plays a very big role in a person's life if football is your passion. Um, so what you see is that you have to work in a team. You have to listen to a coach. There's leaders within the team. There's all kind of things from punctuality to discipline to teamwork to being humble to um, to a referee who does not give the right call and you don't have to process it because you don't want to get a red card so you have to push it away and there's a lot of things that resemble the similar scenarios in real life and if you have something that you love to do which football in this case it is a great tool to teach them those aspects which is much easier than when you're already in a work environment or a home environment or somewhere where you don't really want to learn but here on the field with us as coaches they want to learn so we can work on all those aspects um, and, and just a few things we know to students that we work with when it comes down to their time management. When we force them to combine athleticism and study, then it, it, it forces them to figure out what do I prioritize? How can I be more efficient when I do my study? How can I be more efficient in when I need to help out at the house or somewhere? And when they start learning that from the perspective from football, which is what they love, they don't want to give it up. It's a, it's a much better learning process or easier learning process. And uh, we like to use that tool, not just to teach them football. We like to teach them all these things and, and send them off into the world as adults who know what they stand for. Something like that. I don't know, you know, I ramble on and on, you know, you want to do a different version? One second talk about the, the, the field renovation. I heard you were the one who is responsible for getting the team together to make it happen. Yeah, man, we work with a great um, set of guys, some um, alumni, some parents that really come on board, have the same vision as us. Um, we see where the persons coming together, making a good football field, um, but that it doesn't stop there. So it's just all about a top facility that we're going to put together in Jamaica. Um, but you know, we're really excited. I look forward to seeing the final result.